So what's the point of hexadecimal? Well, the point of hexadecimal isn't actually to make computer science students do yet more work. It's actually to make things easier. Let's have a look at an example. If you had to identify within some code the following binary number, 10, 10, 11, 1, 1. Could you do it? Well, you probably could, but imagine there being hundreds of ones and zeros in a line of code. Could you spot this particular pattern then? How easy would it be for you to even remember that code? I'll rub it out. Now, can you remember what that was? Now, was it 10, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0? Was it 10, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1? Was it 10, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1? Or was it 10, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0? Perhaps you're getting what I mean, that it's actually quite different, uh, difficult rather, for humans to identify what the correct binary code is. We don't really do binary code, and incidentally, if you said it was this one, you are correct. But it is difficult for human beings to be able to easily recognize and identify binary numbers. It is extremely easy as a human being to type a binary number in incorrectly, or to read a binary number incorrectly. There's too many similarities. It's not easily recognizable for humans. It might be fine for computers, but not for human beings. Now, what about if instead of asking you to memorize this binary number, instead I said, can you memorize A, D? That's it. The chances are you could remember AD fairly easily. The chances are that you could identify AD within a block of code and other letters and numbers reasonably easily. You could remember it, you could recognize it, identify it and type it in with far less chance of error. So rather than typing in 10101101, possibly typing it incorrectly, you could instead type AD. It's exactly the same number. It's just that this number is in binary and this number is in hexadecimal, but it's the same value. Numbers in hexadecimal offer two advantages. The first advantage is that the numbers are shorter. Because binary code only uses two digits, zero and one, the numbers are inevitably very long longer even than decimal numbers. On the other hand, because hexadecimal uses 16 digits, the numbers are very much shorter. And shorter numbers are not only easier to recognize and identify, but there's less chance of writing a number in incorrectly. The second advantage of hexadecimal is that it is easier to remember or recognize because of the fact that it includes letters as well as numbers. Hexadecimal uses the digits 0 to 9, but it also uses the letters A to F. And so you end up with sometimes uh, hexadecimal numbers looking almost like words. In fact, you can probably think of a few words that you could make up by using the letters A to F. And if you throw in a zero as an O and a one as an I, you can end up making whole words. And in fact, computer scientists and programmers do actually use this particular trick. In a lot of error codes and error reports generated by programs, computer scientists have often included hexadecimal words, or numbers more correctly, but they look like words, because it's easier to spot and identify them at a glance and know what the report is about, rather than having to translate that number into binary, into decimal, and then looking it up in a code book. So for example, when an Apple Mac overheats and has to shut down, the binary number zero, sorry, C, zero, 
0, 1, 0, F, F is used. Now that is a real binary number. But it also is very obviously the words cool off, which explains exactly what the computer needs to do. And so using hexadecimal numbers sometimes makes it easy for computer engineers to see at a glance exactly what's going on. So hexadecimal is shorter and it is easier to read and to write, reducing the chances of errors.